Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Sugar Muses um, Deluxe Muse box for April 2022. If you're new to my channel, you know that obviously there's been a delay in my unboxings due to all sorts of personal reasons that I go into in any of my various lives, so definitely check it out if you're interested in me as a person. Um, I did feel, even though it is July, <coughs> pardon me, that it's important um, that I keep up the continuity as best as I can uh, because the reason I started this channel initially is because I really wanted to get a subscription box to feel that connection and when I looked for unboxings the more consistent reviews that a person had the more that I really liked that channel it was very helpful for me when I made the decision how to spend my hard-earned money especially in times like these so I think it's nice to have consistency so you can see over time what the contents of the box looks like. Uh, that being said, let's get started. But please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out my channel. My channel's, you know, been a little bit slow growing because I haven't been able to give the time that I want to because of what's going on. But with your help. So let's check it out. All right. Our theme is Beltane. Nice. So I always read these last. Because I like to be surprised. Christy usually, Christy's a creator. Usually makes little arts and these are lovely. Very nice for your book of shadows. Or your grimoire. Beautiful paper as always. One of my favorite things about this box in particular and about Christy's work is that she has a lot of very whimsical, lovely details that really add to the sumptuousness of uh, the experience. So I am prepared here with a bag for Billy Bob. Get some of these off. It's helpful to kind of um, help me keep it together, especially since I'm in the process of preparing for one of my. Uh, one of my witchy yard sales, so it's nice. This is a her incense. It says herbal sage, nice. Ooh, it smells divine. This whole box smells divine. Love it. And then we have this lovely beauty. Let's look at this. So beautiful. Looks like dandelions. Nice length for for a wide variety of people. Pineapple papaya green tea blend. She's got the instructions and the ingredients on the back. I like that information. And a little tea bag for you to steep it in. Very nice touch. Ooh. So this is one of my favorite things for the little envelopes that she uh, includes. I always save them and I use them for petitions. I use them for s baths, sabbats, everything. And I seal them up with wax and I put them in my box and I let them simmer until, you know, such a time as when I'm going to look at my petition again. So I absolutely love these. So that's the thing. Big red bow. Imagine everything you look at is a gift wrapped in a gigantic red bow. Your car, your cat, your washing machine, your bills, even your family members. Gaze upon oops, the tangible and intangible aspects of your life and behold how blessed and lucky you are. Always. Always panic when I hear honking outside because uh, I, I live, I have a farm and I live on a major highway. And so, oops. I almost threw the baby out with the bath water. So I always worry. Look at that lovely. It's like a flower. I might keep this for my son, specifically for him, because we have an iridescent fork. That's his favorite fork he, to eat with. He calls it the enchanted fork. That spoon's a little bit small for him to eat his cereal with, but I know that he would get a tickle out of it. Spring Muse, handmade organic ritual soap. I don't smell it, but it's lovely. 
looks like we got a worry stone, a black agate worry stone. So it's got like a little label here. Um, I can tell that it's a worry stone because it has an indentation, the shape, right? You put it in your pocket and you worry it to soothe yourself. So that's how you would use it. Once I'm done unboxing, I'll move everything back into the frame a little better. This is the candle, Beltane. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, it smells like, like flowers. Oh, nice packaging. Sugar Muse's fragrance oil. Look at how lovely. I've never seen this packaging before. Fairy Sight, Nectar, Citrus, Cassis, and Jasmine. Ooh, it smells just like the candle, nice. Like a lovely flower scent, but not very strong, kind of mild, I like it. Oh, interesting. They look like chess pieces, but they're candle holders. That's pretty cool. Then. Interesting. Oh, this is a spell kit. It says crystal wish spell. Candles, herbs, wish, and then the spell work. This is nice. All right, let me go ahead and um, get myself situated. And the last item, let's move everything up a little bit so you can see. Yep, okay. Now let's look at this. Decor. That's very pretty. Let's put her there. Let's put these here. See everything and let's read a little bit. Beltane is an ancient Celtic Sabbath held April 30th to May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere also known as May Day and the Festival of Flowers. It is traditionally known as a quarter day, the halfway point between the spring and equinox and the summer solstice. Beltane is a Celtic word which means fires of Bel. Bel was a Celtic deity. Um, in the Wiccan, Wiccan tradition, Beltane is a celebration of the union of the goddess and the god, the male and the female energies. Witches and pagans who observe the wheel of the year celebrate Beltane as the pinnacle of spring. We give thanks for the fertility of our planet and the ability of the earth to renew herself. Spring is a time to tap into the energy of the season and to help bring new life into spells, intentions, and energy work. So it just goes on a little bit more. The Spring Muse Botanical Soap. Um, so it just talks about ritual bathing, but it doesn't really tell me what's in it. So that's okay. I can't really smell it through the plastic either. The Crystal Spell Kit. Um, spell candles, a crystal flower offering, and spell suggestions for use. The flower offerings is dried jasmine and blue corn flowers. Very nice. Um, herbal sage incense stick. Invoking deity. So we have the Beltane candle. It's citrus jasmine and pear essence and dressed with uh, dried hydrangea jasmine and milo berries. It's very lovely. 
uh, black agate stone. It's one of the oldest of all healing stones. It can be used for receptacle for negative energy and toxicity. It can be used as a protective amulet. Uh, fairy sight ritual oil. Um, used within a year. Handmade wood candle holders. And they probably fit perfectly with the candles in here. Spring Muse plaque. Very lovely. Dandelion pendant. Then we have the pineapple papaya organic tea. The spring blossom teaspoon. Very pretty. Then the, the art prints. And the intuitively drawn tarot card by it's from the Awakened Dreamer by Kelly Sullivan Walden. That's the deck. Wonderful. Lovely. I've gotten this box for years. She took a little break. I think her daddy died. And then she's been back. At the time of this viewing, now this box is going to be monthly again, but it was bi-monthly. Um, so that's really exciting. I, unfortunately, have it on hold. I'm getting July's, but I have August on hold for every single one of my boxes until I can get um, caught up with some of my excess uh my ex is everything guys i have a shopping problem <laughs> but this is the april sugar muses box theme is beltane lovely delicious smelling all beautiful um objects with wonderful lovely whimsical details and of course i highly recommend this to you i love this box so as always please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you soon